Hello family. Today we're looking at the position of information security policy analyst. This position is open with young brand. Now we're going to be looking at the key responsibilities of this job. We're also going to be looking at how much can you earn while you do this job. We're also going to be looking at the key responsibilities. We're also going to look at your resume, how you can update your resume to get this job. Let's dive right into it. Now, information security policy analyst. The first thing for how much is this job paying? The salary range is between $82,000 and $106,000 a year. That's a very good salary. That's six figure uh, if you get this job. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to take a look at who is an information security policy analyst. Now, an information security policy analyst is a professional who specializes in developing, not only that, you implement information security policies and procedures within an organization, all right? So, as an information security policy analyst, now, the key word there being policy analyst, all right? That is the operative word there, policy analyst. When you see a role and when you're looking at your responsibilities, I like to tell my client, make sure you understand the operative word there are key words there that works like a pointer and that will give you what you need to know about that role. Now, like I said, information security policy analyst specializes in developing and implementing information security policies. All right. The information security policies, you're going to be developing that and also the procedures within the company. Uh, your role involves as your role involves assessing security risk. Not only that. You're also going to define security standard and ensure compliance with relevant regulations and industry best practices. Now, let's take a look at the about of this company. I always tell you, when you're looking at any role, look at about the company, which is very, very important. Not only that, take a look at about the role. Okay. Now, you can read about the company right here. I'm not going to read that because of our time. I don't want to waste your time as well. Now, the role of the information security policy analyst is to support GTRM. GTRM here means global technology risk management. Okay. So what you are doing is um, support the GTRM function. You're going to develop and deploy repeatable, scalable and cost effective information governance solution for corporate needs. You're going to also be reporting to the senior manager of GRC. Now that is that about the company and about the role. So you need to read about that so that you can have a better understanding. We've talked about the salary, it's the hundred thousand over hundred thousand dollars a year. That is the expected salary that they can pay you. They're also asking for some leadership characteristics. And if you look at this here, I can tell it, it's easy. We know how do you demonstrate that you have this, right? And how do you want to demonstrate that you don't have it? Okay, so these are the things that you need to take care of. Um, serve as an internal consultant and advisor in policy development. The operative word being policy development. Like I always tell you, make use of tools, make use of artificial intelligence. If you're going to develop any policy, if you're going to develop any document or even procedures, all right, these things are easy to do if you know your job and you know your way around it. Now, the key responsibility, we're only going to touch a few. The first one is collaborate with senior manager GRC in establishing project prioritization. Now, the key word there is establish project prioritization. What does that mean? That means that you're going to work together with the senior manager GRC to determine the order of importance for various projects. Which one is more important, right? You're going to be working with the senior manager to determine that. That is the meaning of project prioritization. Okay. Now you're going to also lead migration of PSPG document in an into an automated platform. You're going to be like, what does that mean? So you're going to be working to take charge of transferring. Now, let me tell you what does PSPG stand for? It stands for policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines. All right. That is the meaning of PSPG. I'm going to say that again, policies, standards, procedures, and guidelines 
okay so you're going to take the document from a manual or paper based system into an automated system okay so if they've been so what they're saying is they've been using paper based approach now you're coming in to work with the team to uh, transfer all the paper based into an automated system okay uh, coordinate the writing review and finalization of young policies that is self-explanatory policy standard procedure and guidelines that's psbg like i explained the other time collaborate with subject matter experts in document development so one thing that you're going to look at in all of this key responsibility one common denominator is policy design policy development and procedure standard and guidelines those are the common denominator denominators here and those are the things that you have to take a look at those are the things that you need to know all right those are the important thing right here those are the ones that are very important now let's take a look at the professional experience what they're asking for they're asking for experience in communication and writing can you write can you communicate if yes you're qualified experience in it governance and risk compliance now like i always tell my client out of all these requirements if you meet three you're you're good to apply you don't have to meet all the requirements there is no job that you're going to be qualified for every experience or all qualifications that they're asking for you just need to be qualified for three or two and you're good to go all right now education preferred be bachelor's degree information technology now the operative word here is preferred it means that this is not mandatory this is not something that you must have however it is preferred if you don't have it if you have bs in business in in order in education in anything apply okay just apply for it now professional skills and organizational behavior customer service interpersonal skills grammatically proficient those are the things that they're asking for so these are things that you can develop and you can learn now let's look at the benefits here you have tons of benefits here that you get when you apply for this role now let's take a look at the company website this is the company website you need to read about the company read it okay understand what the company is about understand what they do understand their leadership understand everything before you go for interview it is very very important and the last one we're going to be looking at is your resume this is the resume that will help you clinch an interview for this job okay your name your city your country and then your zip code your phone number your email and if you are gracious enough you can also add your linkedin there as well now this is professional summary in my usual manner i bring value here for those who are non-technical in the field of cyber security okay so what i do is to bring non-technical roles that can help you earn six figures and i also help you craft the resume that you need so all you can just do is copy and paste okay you can pause this video copy this resume i'm giving it to you for free okay but the only thing i just ask of you is to share like and subscribe to this channel the skills that are required these are the skills if you have these skills and you have this experience accomplishment and education update your resume and apply for this role all right and when you apply and you get the job comment below here let us know that you got the job i'll be rooting for you and that'll be all for today we've looked at the boss the company we've looked at the key responsibilities we've also looked at the salary we've looked at the resume now when you apply for this role make sure that you understand everything in this experience number one number two make sure you understand everything in these key responsibilities now things that you must understand that are non-negotiable in these key responsibilities are the PSPG policy standard procedure and guidelines have you done one before if you have done one before how did you do it what are the challenges we encounter how did you solve the challenges what are the things you learn that is what you're going to use in the interview to clinch this job because that is what they are employing you for don't forget what they really need is a policy analyst all right i'm going to see you again tomorrow with another exciting non-technical cyber security role that pays 
six figure see you guys tomorrow guys bye